Hey, stuff. welcome back, everybody. It's uh, 8.42. You might be uh, asking yourself, why is Kurt wearing a mask right now? Well, first of all, it's fun for me. Uh, but secondly, I have a couple of special guests here uh, today. Dr. Uh, Christy Sabaraz here. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Why are you laughing? I'm not a doctor. Oh, it says doctor here. Does it really? You're oh, not no. a doctor. I'm not a doctor. And Glenn Ferguson is <laughs> here. Yeah. Now, I met you guys a couple of times at a oh, couple yeah. of different events, yep. right? Yep. And you're telling me about the cancer dogs. This is Huck, by the way. This is Huckleberry. Right? Yep. Tell me, guys, uh, I'm wearing this mask for a reason now. Tell me how this works, first of all. Well, dogs can smell cancer and they can detect it off a person's breath odor and any type of cancer anywhere in the body. And uh, what they're actually detecting is the me metabolic waste product of the cancer cells. And it'll end up in your bloodstream, it'll come up through your heart and to your lungs, and there it is through your breath. Uh, yeah. That's odd. Do you have to train dogs to do oh, this? Oh, absolutely, yeah. And the way we do it is that we get breath samples from people who have cancer but haven't been treated yet. So there's yeah. no chemo or radiation odors. Yeah. And we collect these and we give them to the dog and we, we play scent games with it. So uh, we put it in a container and when the dog's trained to come and sniff these containers, when he gets to a cancer sample, we use a clicker and give him a treat. Uh. So the dog associates the odor with a reward. And we ask the dog to place his paw on it to show us where it is. Mm -hmm. So that's how they make an indication. Mm. How accurate is this, Christy? It's uh, in the 90 percentile. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? Well, you have well, high rates of success with this. Right. Well, you know, well, it's, yeah. There's been several studies now published in the past year, like at least four, and their dogs are all performing in the high 90s, and yeah. they're for all types of cancer. Right. Yes. Right. So I wear the mask for how long? A minute. You're done. You're done. I'm done already. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you actually take this as a sample? That's yep. right. And you're going to check this out for me? Yes. Yep. And we're, we're actually uh, finishing the training of our dogs, and, right. and this is going to be part of a 2,000-person trial. Okay. And uh, this is how we're going to determine their accuracy. Right. Yeah, and we're also going to throw in some uh, known cancer samples as a blind control as well. But uh -huh. we expect with 2,000 people, uh, we're going to detect about 15 or cases of cancer. Right. Yeah. Is this already being used in hospitals and so on? Nope. No, it's, it's not. No. Right? Why is that? Why? Because you have to do a trial first? Well, no, it's, uh, you'll have to ask them why they haven't been doing it. But this research for dogs detecting cancer goes back 30 years, actually. But it's really taken up a lot of interest in the last few years. Right. Yeah, and it's maybe just that they're not familiar with dogs. You right. Know? It's probably that. And what we're doing is we're going to demonstrate how they can be used. Because some people think they're not feasible. Uh -huh. But uh, we actually would use fewer dogs than the border services used to, to control or, or patrol airports. Really? And we could screen everybody over 40 if there was a yeah. national screening program. Because it seems, uh, you know, uh, seems to me that if this, in fact, works, then why aren't we using this, uh, this tool? Right? Exactly. Why, yes. why wouldn't we be using this to test people? Right. Well, there's much more intrusive ways. Because we're talking about early detection Yes, here. exactly. exactly. Right? The dogs are yes, because uh, in one of the studies in, in California, the dogs, all five dogs being trained, all alerted to what was supposed to be a healthy control. Yeah. That person was then given three MRIs, an MRI every six months for a year and a half uh -huh. before they could actually detect the breast cancer. So that's yeah. earlier. They were a year and a half, a year and a half ahead? A year of an exactly. MRI. The dog? Yes, yes, all five of them. Not just one dog, all five dogs. And uh, they, those dogs had three weeks training. No kidding. Yeah. Three. So uh, you're collecting samples right now? Yes. Do you need more volunteers? or? Oh, absolutely. How Which, do people get in touch with you? Well, they can reach us through our website, uh, cancerdogs.ca, uh -huh. and they can send us an email at info at cancerdogs.ca. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we'll, we'll be appearing at, we've been at dog parks setting up tables. Well, I saw you at some run the it first was, time. Uh, the Wiggle Waggle. Yeah, the right? Wiggle Waggle for yeah. one, and then yeah. another time you're at a do run. It, do it for Dad. Do it for Dad. Yeah, yeah, rides for Dad. yeah. Yep. So we're doing all those events, and uh, we're getting a great response at these. Yep. Yeah. Right. And we've been, everywhere all we've been speaking at <laughs> cancer support groups, and that, that's actually been our main source of support from referrals for people with cancer to give us uh, samples that we need to train our dogs. Right. Yeah. So no, nobody knows the the need for early detection than people who have been diagnosed with cancer. No doubt yeah. about yeah. it. Yes. I mean, you know, I, and I want you to use my sample if you could. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank because, thank you very much. We will be. Because uh, you know, if in fact something comes of it, you'll let me know. Of yeah, course. Exactly. Very interesting. Yeah. And there's Huck, just one of several, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's That's good looking. Hey. hey, Huck, you're a good looking dog. <laughs> he's like, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, you guys, for uh, dropping by. Oh, thanks oh, for having us. It's very interesting. Let us know the, the results of your study, would yeah, you? Yeah, we will. And we'll have sure. you back on the show. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Very interesting. All right. Jeff Hopper, isn't that amazing? 